In this video, I'm going to show you how you can display current time data on your Webflow website. So for example, right here inside of this footer, you can see I'm displaying copyright 2024, which is the current year, and then enjoy the rest of your Monday, so the current weekday. And in the second line, it says there are 211 days left in the current year. And today I'm going to show you how to set this up yourself. And we're going to set it up in a way so that it automatically updates. And once you've set it up, you don't have to manage it anymore. Okay, so here I have a Webflow project and I'm using a free clonable template from Erdogan. They have quite a few really cool uh, clonables that you can use completely for free. And um, I'm mentioning that because I'm using this one for the tutorial here today. And uh, right here in the footer, you can see I have this text and right now this is only text. So the number, the, the year, the 2022 is hard coded. And uh, the Saturday is also hard coded, meaning that this won't automatically update. To change that, the first thing that we have to do is I'm going to select the text right here and then click on this button called wrap with span. And now this has turned into an element that can be selected individually inside of this text block. This is really important. And I'm going to do, do the same thing with Saturday. So I select Saturday, click on wrap with span. And now it's also an element inside of the text, text block that can be selected individually. And let's also do this for this X where we want to display how many days are left in the year. I select it, click on wrap with span. And now this one is done as well. This is the basic preparation. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a free tool that I've created to display the current data inside of these three elements. And you can find the free tool on inputflow.io slash tools. And here you just click on display current XYZ. This is the name of the tool. And here, as you can see, you have a lot of different options of what type of current data you can display. So you could display the current year, weekday, the current quarter, hour, minute, the current day of the month, uh, percentage in, that is left in the year. You can even display the browser time zone. So lots of different uh, options that you have here. But let's start with step number one. You can see it says copy the script and paste it into the head code section. So this is the link to the JavaScript file that enables all of this functionality. All you have to do with this JavaScript is to paste it into your page. So I copy the script, go back to the website, and because the footer is on all pages of our website, I want this to be this functionality to be available everywhere on every page of the website meaning I click here on site settings and then inside of the site settings I'm going to add this to the global site code. So here it says custom code and uh, I've already added this in the preparation but let's do it again. So I would add this right here and then click on save then publish, publish to the Webflow project and now the JavaScript file is inside of the website. Okay, let's go back to the designer because now we're going to use some custom attributes to set up the functionality. If we take a look here at the documentation, you can see if we click on the year option, it says add this attribute to all text elements where you want to display the current year. So it wants us to add an attribute name of ift-current and an attribute value of year. So I copy this go back to the Webflow project, then I select the year element that we created a few moments ago. I click on settings and add a new custom attribute. And the name is ift-current and the value is year. Okay, let's do the same thing with the weekday. So I select the element. Uh, let's look at the documentation. Weekday, attribute name is ift-current. I copy it attribute well value is weekday. So ift-current value is weekday. And now we also have to do this for the third element here. There are x days left in the current year. So for that, let's see, where is this option? Here it says days left in year. 
And in this case, the attribute name would again be ift-current and the value days left in year. I copy it, select the element, add a new custom attribute, ift-current, and the value is year, days left in year. And now all I have to do is I publish this to the Webflow project. Now it has published. Let's take a look at the live site. I scroll down all the way to the footer. And now you can see it says copyright 2024, which is the current year. Example incorporated, enjoy the rest of your Monday, which is also the current day of the week. Today is Monday. And obviously tomorrow it would display Tuesday. This is like the idea here. You don't have to manage this. It will do it for you automatically. And there are 211 days left in the current year, which makes sense because today is the 3rd of June. So that sounds about right. And this is how you can add the time or current time data to your website. And I will put a link to this tool into the video description so you can try it out yourself. And uh, again, this is completely free to use. And um, if you have any questions, then feel free to write a comment. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.